Mate. Who's Charlie talking to? Dunno. Never seen him before. Well, she seems to be having a very good time. That makes for a change. Oh, come on. She hasn't been that bad. Yeah, all right. Maybe you're right. Maybe she does need to go out there and have some fun. You think Charlie needs to get some action, don't you? I said fun. No, but it's true. Think about it. Her love life's been pretty much non-existent since Angela. I mean, Colleen's getting more than she is. Oh, please. Never say that again. Well, it's true. You know what? Maybe if she got back out there, she might get off my back. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I'm staying out of this. Oh, can I have that for one sec? What are you doing? Trust. Trust. Hi. Hi. Well, you and I seem to be talking up quite an appetite there. Yeah? Uh, Rubes, we didn't order this. Yeah, well, Leah just saw how hard you were working, thought you might need a little bit of sustenance. I'm Ruby, by the way, Charlie's daughter. Hi. Uh, Ruby, this is Michael. He's down from Area Command for the day. We're talking about work. Oh. Right, so you're a cop as well. It's fantastic. Charlie loves her job. You guys must have so much in common. Hey, you need to go now. Right. She's using a scary cop voice. Don't worry, you'll learn to love that. So good to meet you, Michael. Pleasure. Yeah, enjoy this mm. cake. Oh, here he is. I was beginning to forget what you look like. Yeah, I've been busy. So are you. How's Nicole? She's fun. It's good to see you back pulling your weight. What's that supposed to mean? I've just been carrying the place a lot lately. Even though it's still your name across the door, you're still taking a cut of the earnings. I needed some time off. I figured you might be able to look after the place on your own. Oh, I just miss having you around. Because I'm a good front man. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say, boss. I'm sorry, you just look like a nice guy. You seem to be having a good time. Yeah, I was being polite. Okay, but if you were interested in meeting someone... Well, I probably wouldn't tell you after the stunt you just pulled. Wait, where does this whole matchmaking idea come from anyway? Well, Leah and I are worried about you. Okay, we've noticed how moody you've been lately. Leah said it might be because you weren't getting any fun. Getting any fun? No, I'm fun and I have plenty of fun. When? All the time. I go for runs and I have coffees and all that sort of thing. <laughs> OK, look, we're not saying that you need to go jump into some heavy relationship. Just go on a date. Look, even if I wanted to go on a date and I don't, there's no one in this town that I'd be interested in. Well, you know what? There might be someone right under your nose who you never thought of that way before. What, Angelo? Oh, that's a little bit messy. Elijah. Miles. <laughs> What's wrong with Miles? <laughs> Too messy, literally. Yeah, I love Miles, just not like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then, why don't we think about someone outside the confines of the Summer Bay Diner? Let's go crazy. What about the surf club? I don't think there's anyone in the town I'd be interested in, Rubes. But look, I'll keep my eyes peeled if you can just back off with the matchmaking. Fine. What's this guy like, anyway? Huh? What guy? The one that Ruby was so keen to set you up with. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Yeah, he was all right. Why? Am I detecting a little bit of jealousy? <laughs> no, no, I'm not jealous. I was just interested to know the type of fellow you usually go for. You know, all I've got as a guide so far is Angelo. <laughs> So I, I was guessing that Ruby thinks you have a thing for office romance. <laughs> well, Michael is an upstanding officer mm. and he's diligent and conscientious and law-abiding. And you know what? He's a real foodie too. <laughs> he, um, he loves the theatre and yachting and, yeah, all the good stuff. Yeah, just hilarious, Charlie. <laughs> Actually, it's quite all right. He's a nice guy, but he's also slightly dorky. So, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I wasn't worried. Yeah, top button's undone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so what's with the sudden interest in your mum's love life? Oh, hey. 
up, right? What are you doing? Charlie, you know how you said you'd love a relationship if only you could find the right one? Why? Well, I've made a list of potentials. I think you'd be surprised how many I found. And I've made a short list of the best ones. And I think you should start with Brian. No, no, I'm not, I'm not starting with anyone, Ruby. I told you, no matchmaking. What? That's my picture, OK? What are you thinking? This is my private life. And I, I don't want weird men leering at my picture and sending me kisses. You got a lot of kisses. You actually made the top 100. And if you want, I could put you on Woman Seeks Woman, W Chances. No, no, I want you to get rid of it now. No, but Charlie, it's a really, really good website. And it says that 70% of the time it works every single time. Leah, Leah thought they were hot. Did you know about it? No, 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 no. The first I found out about it is when I got home. But I did think some have potential. Yeah, and Charlie, you're not getting any younger. Do you really want to be known as the sad old spinster cop forever? What? Who calls me that? No one yet, but they will. They will. Now, I've done all the legwork, all right? I've sorted through the nut mags. Just have a look. I quite liked Craig. Yeah, and Ryan, he has the same favourite <laughs> movie as you. Everyone likes that movie. But he's hot too. Yeah. Yeah, the picture's probably 10 years old. I do like the bit about being dubious about internet dating. At least he's honest. Hmm. What do you say? You will have fun, Charlie, I promise. And if you don't, I will not interfere anymore. No, that's what you said last time. Just one date. Come on, it can't hurt. Fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs>